let's talk about not following up with your customers. Now, some managers have it out there that they, if you don't make contact with your customers between 30 to 90 days, they're fair game and they're back in the pot. And if you haven't talked to your customers since the last time you sold them a car two or three years ago, that you think that they're still your customer when they come back and buy, they're not your customer. And sending an email and getting no response is not following up with your customer. Now, if you're a salesman and you think you deserve a split deal when a customer returns back to the dealership and you've not made no contact with them, that doesn't matter. They're not your customer. And if you are a salesman and you go out on the lot and you greet yourself to the customer and you notice that they uh, have a vehicle and they're going to trade it and you ask them, have you ever bought a vehicle here before? And they say yes. And they tell you they worked with John. But then you say, okay, no, no, no problem. I'll go get John let him know that you're here. And they said, no, no, we, we, we want to work with you. That's fine. But do you think John deserves to know that his customer's here? Absolutely. But John also needs to know that the customer doesn't want to work with him. So you can go ahead and do, do the numbers and get the car sold. And maybe John can go ahead and get it clean for delivery, put some fuel in it, and put a tag on it. And the customer would never know and you could split the deal. But it's having the integrity to tell John. That's where we're having problems today, is not following up with our customers and not asking our customers that show up on the lot if they've ever bought a car here before and who were their salesmen. Now, if that salesman's not here anymore, they don't work at the dealership, that's fine. Then it's fair game, they're your customer. But being sneaky, I just wanted to let you know, my friends, what comes around goes around and it'll happen to you tenfold. So you don't want to deal with that opportunity to get that taken away from you because you didn't follow up with your customer. We're in our heads right now that we're in the car business, but in all reality, we're in the people business. Treat your people good and they will treat you better. They will always come back and buy cars from you. They will always send people to come buy cars from you. So keep that in mind. Always follow up with your customers. That's why we have a CRM. Did you know the CRM is the new ATM? What? What you're saying? The CRM is our new ATM. The more you keep taking care of your customers and putting those information in the CRM, the customers keep coming back. And if it's noticed that you have been keeping up and touching base with your customers, that's where your ATM is coming. Now, if you like this video and other videos, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications every time I have other videos coming out. Like, share, make a comment, that'll be fine. I love to hear from you all. And if you love this video, also don't forget to go to my podcast, Automotive Architect Sales Podcast and the Manager TO Podcast.